if you're someone who does things just because you don't want to be looked at a certain way, if you're someone who offers yourself up without even really having the capacity to do what this person is asking of you or didn't ask of you because you offered yourself, if you're someone who compromises your morals, your integrity, just so you don't look bad, and if you don't know how to say no, you just say yes to everything that people ask you to do. You are a people pleaser, my dear, and stop it. Hey girl, hey, welcome. If you are new here, I am Sky Andrene. If you like beauty, fashion, femininity, and you're a woman of God, I highly suggest you sticking around. So I do want to start with a scripture to kind of like guide us in this video. And that is Galatians 1.10. And it says, Am I now trying to win the approval of human beings or of God? Or am I trying to please people? If I were still trying to please people, I would not be a servant of Christ. Woo. Listen, God is the only, the only one we should be seeking approval from. When we are so worried about other people and what they think about us or if we said the wrong thing or because we didn't do something, now they're not going to like us or now they're going to feel the type of way about us. That becomes our idol. That becomes a master. We cannot serve two masters. If you're so worried about making sure you look good to this person over here, where does that leave God? So here are some of the things that I did to stop being a people pleaser. A lot of the, the big reason we're such people pleaser is because we don't even give it to ourselves. So we're just trying to compensate for the time we don't give ourselves. And we can't pour from an empty cup. We need to take time to regroup, to regather, especially if you're an introvert. Baby, my social battery dies, okay? So you need time to recoup. Let's look at Jesus. The time Jesus was on earth, he himself even took time for himself to go pray, to be alone, to just regroup, spend time with God. Like Jesus spent 40 whole days in the woods, in the wilderness. Like, he needed time. And I'm saying you need to take off for a day. So, you know, we have jobs, we have family, we have things we need to do. But a weekend, a day, a couple days a week, like, take the time. And if Jesus, who was fully God and fully human, needed that time to himself, why don't you think, as just a human, you can do everything without giving that time to rest and relax and just be with yourself, be in prayer, fast, just, or do absolutely nothing just to regroup. We need that because we're humans. That's why God said to rest. <laughs> we are to rest and allow him to pour into us during that resting time. That's why sometimes God calls us into isolation because we need that as humans. We should model the life that Jesus lived when he was on her earth. earth. <laughs> we should model the life that, of Jesus when he was on earth, which, like I said, is taking time. But also, Jesus was not a people pleaser. As loving and as all the miracles he did and all the ways he helped, he did not people please. He was about his father's business. Okay, he was here to do a job, and that was to save us from sin. Okay, he did not care that the Pharisees had a problem with him, he did not care that the Romans or all the other people from all the different surrounding areas had a problem with what he was doing and preaching. Like, he didn't care because he is pleasing God and God alone. So, if we are made in his image, we need to act as such when it comes to how we think people should view us or how we want people to view us or just the way we go about our lives when we make decisions. Don't make decisions based on what that person is going to feel or think about you. Make, base your decisions on how God is going to feel. And again, that's not saying don't be a helpful person. Don't ever confuse my words when me tell you just say, forget everybody, I'm not doing nothing, I'm not, no. I'm saying is don't let it compromise your morals, don't let it compromise your faith, don't let it compromise your integrity, your comfortability, none of that. Because if that person loves you like they claim to or if you love yourself, 
you won't allow anyone else to put you in that situation and other people won't want to put you in that situation and if they do then they don't really care and if you're not allowing it you don't really care you need that isolation time so that you can really figure out what it is about you, you can really have jesus pour into you so you can change that because baby we can't do it we can't do everything if we could do everything for everybody and be everywhere we would be god and we are furthest from that okay <laughs> so, you need to practice first and foremost saying no with no explanation because when we start to explain ourselves Honestly, the other person doesn't care because to them, you just let them know. So anything else is going to be an excuse to them and they're not going to care. But also, you're an adult. You don't have to explain yourself to anybody. We're grown. No is no. And if they just happen to ask you why, just simply and politely, <laughs> respectfully say because just no. There is no reason why. It's just no. They're going to have to live with it because, again, you don't have to explain yourself. And no, it's not going to be easy to just say no, especially if you're someone who says yes to everything. Yes, without even really realizing what you're saying yes to. This is going to be hard. You're going to have to practice this. It's going to take time. And the best thing that I would say is to not even answer them off of that. Give it some time. Tell them you'll get back to them. That way you can actually think about what it is that this person is asking of you and what and if you actually want to do it or not so that way you can go back to them hey i thought about it mm, i'm gonna pass you know something it doesn't have to be a long drawn out conversation just no i'm not doing it no i don't want to and those are even doing a little too much explaining me i'm just no <laughs> you ask my friends they always say skylar is the one person i know who says no and means it <laughs> and all of that it comes with knowing your boundaries and actually enforcing them if people are constantly coming to you for everything it's because they know that you're going to do it because you're always saying yes which means you have not set boundaries in place and you don't enforce your own boundaries so that's a whole thing in itself which i have a video on that you can watch after this one but yes setting those boundaries and saying no without explanation someone who has a problem with just offering themselves up <laughs> then listen listen closely stop and i'm not saying that you shouldn't be helpful like you should genuinely do things for the bottom of your heart just to help people but you cannot be everything for everybody at all times so offering yourself up for every situation even if the person isn't actually ask you they're just venting that's something that i struggled with people would just be venting like oh i have to do this or xyz whatever the case may be i'll be like oh i can do it oh i'll help you not even thinking the fact that i don't have the mental capacity i don't have the time nor money or energy to do any of that but i'm offering myself up so what i started doing is while the person is just venting because a lot of times people just wanted somebody to talk to they're not actually even asking for help they just want to vent i have to tell myself when i feel the words about to come out like oh i'll do it or i can't do that for you i just start to tell myself don't do it don't do it like i i literally have an internal battle with myself like don't do it girl don't do it sometimes it didn't work all the time but that's okay I started putting into practice to train myself to tell myself not to do it. I know maybe that sounds childish, like you have to literally tell yourself to do it. But yes, yeah, sometimes we have to talk to ourselves, talk ourselves out of certain things that we don't really want to do, but we're doing it because we feel like we need to out of obligation. You're not obligated to anybody or anything. Okay, so don't do things out of obligation. Don't do things because you don't want to be looked at a certain way or don't do things just because you feel like that's the good christian thing to do you don't have to do it like i said you can't be everything for everybody at all times god is the only one that's omnipresent okay <laughs> we can't do it and yeah practice all of these things put them into practice don't just do it once and think you you got it or don't not do it and feel like you're a failure and then revert back. Keep trying. Keep putting this into your mind. And remember that we are not here to serve humans. And we should not here for the approval of humans. The only proof we need is God. So I feel like I'm repeating myself. So I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much. If you made it all the way to the end, make sure 
to watch this video after on how to set boundaries because nine times out of ten if you're a people pleaser you don't have good boundaries in place and you don't enforce them so yeah thank you so much and i will see you in my next video